Good morning, everybody. Coach Scott here. And today I want to talk to you about your why, because your why is so important of the reason that you want to get healthy. You see, back in 2011, when I thought I had a heart attack in my backyard, my wife told me out of desperation, she said, you're going to die. And some other man is going to walk our daughters down the aisle. And as devastating as that was at the time for me to hear, I believe those four words that she said, you're going to die, perhaps may have saved my life. Uh, and now that I fully understand uh, that it was God I, I, you know, that actually saved me, I know that. But I believe he used the power of her words to change my why. And that's what I want to talk to you about today is how do you use your why and is it big enough to change and impact your life as it relates to your health? Now, I've coached a lot of people, thousands of people from every background, and I've come to the conclusion that there's one main reason that people don't experience a lasting change that they desire, and that is because they don't have a big enough why. And many of you have come to us today because you're in pain and you're hurting and you want to get out of the current health situation that you're in. Uh, and so today I want to illustrate the power of why your why is so important and remind you to stop and take an honest assessment of what your, your why really is. And that's the video of this morning. I told my staff years ago in a weekly staff meeting to illustrate this point that imagine that our office building caught on fire and was burning down. So imagine the health center catches on fire, it's up in flames and it's burning down. And I told them, if you're willing to go back in that building and bring back my computer, I'll give the first person that can do that $100. So I give them a $100 bill. And I asked them just by a show of hands, I said, now who of you, which one of you would do that if I asked you to? And the answer was nobody not one person raised their hand and said, Coach, I'll be the one to go back in the building uh, for $100 to save your little computer. Now, let's up the reward a little bit. The second time I said, well, just imagine this then. What if I told you that the person that was would go back and retrieve my computer, I would give you not a $100 bill, but I would give you a million dollars to go back in that burning building and get my laptop. And I could see a few of them thinking about it. I could see their eyes starting to think a little bit differently. And I could see some scenarios, but not one person, even when I upped it to a million dollars, said they would do it. And what's the reason why? It's because they value their lives more than a million dollars. So finally, I asked the same question. And here's what I said. I gave a different why to this question. I said, all right, this time, would you go back into the building if your child or if you had a loved one, if someone that you really cared about was in that building. And I think you all know what the answer was at that point. And all of them said, yes, they would probably go back in to save a child or to save a family member or to save a, a friend. You see, here's my point. Up until that point, they may not have believed that they had the courage to enter a burning building or basically they, it wasn't worth it for them to enter it for a hundred dollars or even a million dollars. But once they had a big enough why, they knew they were going to do it. They knew that they had, would, would do it no matter what the cost. And in the same way, when my wife told me that I was going to die and some other man was going to walk our daughters down the aisle, boom, that was the why that established my new destiny. At that point, it has now become my rod and my staff ever since, especially when things get difficult. So when you think about what is your why, why do you really want to be healthy? Why do you really want to be healthy and happy and whole? Here's the question. What's holding you back right now? We've talked about the four distractions that can keep you from being healthy. We've talked about understanding and giving yourself permission to change. But let me encourage you to start with something else that you begin to really focus in on you. I want you to start with your why, asking yourself the question, what is my why? Do I want to get out of pain? Do I want to live longer? Do I want to have mobility? Do I want to spend time with loved ones? Do I want to be around for my grandchildren? Do I want to live a life that's full of meaning and purpose? Because see, your why speaks to your motives and your why speaks to your passion and your priorities in life. It is the very engine 
that drives your daily decisions. And so with God's help, I believe that you can be healthy, happy, and whole. And I, can, I believe that you will be all that you were created to be. The first step is, though, establish your why, understand your why, and let's go get you healthy, happy, and whole and be the best and highest version of yourself. I'll see you on the next video. God bless you.